Wichita State 87-75 over Loyola of Chicago here tonight, Coke Arena. I'm Bob Lutz, Paul Sullentrop with you. And what looked like maybe another blowout, maybe a more entertaining blowout, turned into an entertaining tight game late. How'd that happen? I was impressed with Loyola. You know, they came in. I thought, you know, they ran a lob play those first few possessions. It was kind of like they had a little bit of, a, you know, a little bit of moxie, a little bit of attitude. But you know, they, they've got some good players. We've seen what Milton Doyle can do, and they've got some good guards there. Uh, that's a talented team. I think, like Porter Mosher said, you know, they're probably a couple players short of being able to compete with Wichita State. But, uh, you know, they can put a lineup out there that's pretty talented. Yeah, they, and they, they had difficulty guarding the Shockers, as we right. expected, and Marcus McDuffie tonight was really, really good. Uh, game high, 26 points, really shot the ball well, 8 of 11, made four of his five three-pointers, and you, you feel like he's just scratching the surface in some ways, don't you? Yeah, yeah, he is. He and he, I think he's, you know, he had the knee surgery in August, so I think he's talked about that. It's kind of slowed him down a little bit. So, you know, if he's 100% healthier as he gets close to that, I think you'll see more and more of this. But, uh, and I'm really impressed with his defense. I think he really, uh, you know, hustles and works. He's all arms all over the place, and, you know, it's a, it's a great sign that they, you know, he guards the other team's best, uh, best scorer quite a bit. And that's that tells you what Greg Marshall thinks of him. And it helps Wichita State to go ten deep in, in games like this, where I think Loyola expended so much energy to get to within four points after trailing by 19 early in the second half that eventually you run out of gas a little bit. And Wichita State rarely runs out of gas because of their depth. Yeah, they just keep bringing guys in. Connor Frankamp making shots. Uh, you know, Shaq Moore. Not as and, many as he well, needs. Not as to. many. Yeah, yeah. Uh, got off to a good start, I think, playing the aggressive way that they want him to. Uh, Rono Nerger coming off the bench. You know, and he's, I guess, essentially he's the third string center. Maybe he and Shaq are both second string centers, but, you know, that's that's inside depth that most Valley schools just don't have. And by the way, Connor, I love you, but, uh, you know, we got to keep it real here on this uh, video cast or whatever we, we call this thing. So you shot the ball well, you're showing more aggressiveness, uh, like some of the things we're seeing from Connor Frankamp. And this entire Shocker team, I've really, really been impressed with the uh, play of Landry Shamit of late. Yeah, he's another one. And uh, when I think about him, I think about the fact that he is just really a freshman. And I think all summer, Wichita State coaches would say, you know, expectations are too high for him just because we heard so much about him last year. But I, I think over these last five or six games, he's really, really started to play well. Shockers go on the road Saturday to Illinois State. They're locked in a battle as we speak with, on the road at Southern Illinois. It looks like they might be able to get that one. Uh, we could have two unbeaten Valley teams uh, Saturday night. What's your expectation of that one? I, I think two very similar teams. I think the point guard matchup will be one that I, I think will be really interesting to watch. Illinois State's got a really good one in Paris Lee, senior, uh, you know, been through it, really talented guy. And the Redbirds play play tough defense. They will make it difficult on the on the Shockers. Mm -hmm.